Hi everyone, Darren again from Aussie Outback Supplies. We've been asked a few times to do an instructional video on how to set up our spare wheel storage bin bag onto the back of the wheel. So uh, today we're going to do an unbagging, which is pretty easy. Get the uh, canvas spare wheel bag out, obviously Aussie made, AOS branded as you've become familiar with. What we're going to do straight up on the back of the bag, we can disconnect this middle strap here. So there's three straps at the top. What we're going to do is disconnect the middle one because that's the one that's going to go around the middle gusset for your main support over the top. And we'll come back to the other two in just a moment. So first of all, with this particular bag, at one end of the uh, loop, or one end of the webbing, you're going to have a loop. The other end is just your rolled up surplus, uh, surplus webbing. So what we'll do straight up is we'll pick an anchor point on the back of the vehicle. This one's going to be the one I'll use on this particular vehicle. So I've just run that loop around there where the actual loop is, or webbing around where the loop is. I'm going to get the buckle. I'm just going to pop the buckle straight through that point there and just pull the whole lot through. And as you see there, that's going to be your anchor point. Now that could be the center of the gusset of, the stub of, of, your, um, of your normal hub that holds on the wheel. It might go around all three. There's any matter of different types of mechanisms that may, may be on the back to anchor to, but that's your primary anchor. So what we're going to do now, pretty much take that middle middle quick release buckle snap that in there and put that to the point where we want to be come around this side here now guys we'll have a quick look how it looks like from the front so we've got that set up and tightened up to where we want it now on the back part we've got two more of these straps one on each side so again quick release buckle at the bottom we're just going to release that one there we have two options with those particular uh, quick release buckles or those straps the same on that side but another one here so when that goes over the top of the back we'll come back around the back side again we've got two choices i sneak across in front of you again we can do this one here straight down and underneath and pick up the point or we can elect to cross over and pick up the point purely personal preference we normally go for the crossover style so i'm just going to pull it down give us a bit extra do the same here, just pulling that loose to give us some extra. It's all 50 mil seat, 50 mil seat belt webbing. That'll go straight under. If I can grab hold of it again, it's trying to get away from me. Come straight under under the wheel on the crossover and hook in there. This one here is actually a compression strap for later on around the front if we've got a bag that's loose. We'll do the same on the other one. Where we can come down and through and clip that on and at that point in time you can now securely anchor your bag onto the actual onto the actual spare wheel the surplus you can either roll it up and there is a little velcro tab right here so you can roll that up and actually velcro it off and have it sitting just at the top here or you can actually cut it heat it and actually seal it off again if you if you know you're going to stay on that particular uh, wheel for uh, for the life of the actual bag itself so Again, those two straps there from the back will either come straight down the back or they can do that whole crossover. We prefer the crossover and then your main weight is going to be picked up on your centre one up here. Same with your surplus webbing on the top of this one here. You can roll that one there up again and secure it as well. So that's how you actually fit the bag onto the back of your spare wheel guys. Hope that helps out for anyone doing their, uh, their refits.